all of our theses were thrown out the window. In an unexpected way, a female finally showed that cannibalistic instinct, the one that we had come to believe was only the result of legends. After such a long time and so much effort dedicated to getting to know an animal, it turned out that we didn't understand a thing. We shouted at each other, trying to understand what was going on. He let her hunt him. Why didn't he try to escape? He didn't even spread his wings. The female had immobilized him and then placed him in the mating position. He put up no resistance. He didn't try to defend himself, not even when she chewed up his jaw. He only hit her frenetically with his antennae, as if he were saying to her, what are you doing? I wanted to court you. The next 40 minutes were terrible. He didn't even kick. Didn't he feel the pain? Why was he still embracing and inseminating his mate? In our minds, we reviewed what we had read about the inhibitor gland during reproduction. So it was true that the males were prepared for this to happen, although it only happened once in a million. Could this behavior be a vestige of a past when there was a major imbalance in the ratio of males to females? What role had natural selection played? As our lady mantis wolfed down the remainder of her lover, the only thing clear to us was that our project had not ended. Perhaps it would never be over.